my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be testing the new Avante airbrush from Harbor Freight. Um, I tested the Avante uh, compressor, and it came with an airbrush, and I thought it might have been the same, but it looks different. I, I went to the store, and uh, I know the back was black on the other one, and the cup seemed a little different. So um, maybe it's a, a different model. We will find out. We are just going to uh, see how it performs. We'll do a... Uh, We'll do some primer and we'll do some regular paint. See if we can get some fine lines and we'll see uh, how it sprays primer on this uh, wing here. So quick test, uh, just curious. Only curious because it's 25 bucks and um, very good price point. If it's a good performer, I'm sure, hold on a second. It's not as good as these gallery entry level, their entry level brush at 40 bucks is uh, their, um, Advanced, the advanced. So I'm sure it's uh, it's not as good as that. But again, this is 40 bucks. This is 25 bucks. All right, let's get that out of the way. But uh, that's it. This gallery is they recommend for uh, under 50 bucks. It's a really good performer, good nozzle setup, and uh, I've been using their Ace a lot. That's their hundred dollar model. Phenomenal. It's just a great performer. Uh, anyway, on to this one. So, uh, yeah, we will check this out. I haven't even opened it yet. We will do it all. There's the tape still on it. We will do all this in real time. I will uh, see how this performs along with you guys for the first time. First, a little business to take care of. Let's get this out of the way. We make a little room here for the presentation. we got to do something here. Here is the gallery air compressor I said I was going to give away. And just before... Um, I sat down to shoot this video. I hit the comment uh, random picker uh, software and it picked out. Hold on, I wrote it down here. Hope for our fallen uh, is the winner of this. I will pack this up. I'll throw an airbrush in here. It came with an entry, a real entry level airbrush. Uh, it came with a. I'll pack this in with a few things for you. It comes with the hose and everything else. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pack this up. I got to find a box big enough. Anyway, make sure I get the right guy. Hope for our fallen. All right. And the full were, uh, on YouTube looked like it was Hope for a Fallen 116. So you are the winner. Um, contact me. The email, my email address is in the description below the video. It's towards the bottom. Um, so you are the winner. I will try and leave a comment after this video is done. And uh, so you know it's me. My name is Robert. You see my name printed. The computers don't know my name. And that's how we uh, figured out we're getting away with no more scamming. But... Congratulations, Hope for Our Fallen. I'm guessing a veteran. If so, uh, God bless you and thank you for your service. Um, but yeah, uh, send me an email. It's in the description below the video. Let's get this out of the way. Congratulations, my good friend. Well, the compressors are heavy. And on to the test. And stay tuned to the end of the video. I have a special announcement about a new product. And I could be introducing it soon for like this weekend's video. Uh, pretty excited for it. Um, all right, I'm going to use this because I'm going to make another announcement. Let's put this back here. We're going to give this away. At the end of the video, I'll pack this back up. I'll clean it up nice, put it back in the package. Uh, I don't think I'm going to open the top. That's why I'm going to open it from the bottom so it's nice and packed when you guys get it. Whoever ends up with it, you've seen it on video, how much I've used it. We're going to spray this. We're going to spray this. That's it. And uh, so it's going to be pretty much a new one. So, yeah, another giveaway. We will give this away. Uh, in order to win, uh, you need to leave a comment. I use the comment picker. Please leave a like. Helps with the uh, algorithm of the video. Helps a lot when you leave a, a, a thumbs up. big And uh, subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I keep pointing down because right below the video, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell. And uh, so you can hear uh, when a new video gets posted because uh, you want to know if I give this away to you. I will also reply in an email, but I will always announce it like I just did for Hope for our Fallen on video just like this. So subscribe, like, leave a comment, and the next video over the weekend, I'll be giving this away to somebody. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Slim profile, precise dual action, a trigger control, easy to clean, smooth housing, adjustable fluid flow for precise sprays. It's uh, your standard features. Works with lacquers, enamels, water base. It works with everything. Beginning to turn up. It's a point three, good size, right down the middle. Looks like the cup is removable. And um, yeah, 
15 to 30 PSI, so we'll go with 20. We'll go right in the middle there. And the standard holes. All right, let's open it up and see how this looks. Okay, guys, hold on. I need to get a little closer to me when I go to open these things. Here we go. Here we go. Well, it looks like it's in some kind of a tray or a case here. Let's see. Oh, it's in a box. Look at that. Check this out. I do like this. Good packing idea. We'll stand that back up. All right, let's see what we get. There we go. The old blue foam here. Let's get this box out of the way. All right, and there we go. All right, it's got some weight to it. Not bad. Is it an adjustable trigger? Yep, adjustable in the back. But you know what? It's not as clunky. It's not as clunky right here. It kind of goes back pretty smooth. Let's take a peek at it. It's just standard setup. Can you adjust the tension? I think you can. Let's see, was that loose all the way up? Yeah, I think you can adjust the tension, which is pretty cool. Not bad. All right. Yep, let's check the needle. I don't think it's going to be buffed out. I do like to shine my needles with uh, some flits before I uh, really get into working with these. But uh, we're going we're gonna to do this one out of the box. That's how I like to test all my products straight out of the box without modifying anything. There we go. All right, let's put this cap back on. It's got a nice feel to it, actually. I'm kind of shocked. It's got the Avani logo in it. All right. Take our cap off here. Don't want to hit the camera, so let me pop off the cap here. Gotcha. And we'll hit the camera. There we go. Oh, look at the, kind of a small opening there in the bottom. Can you see it, guys? I'm trying to get this camera to adjust here. Look at that. But a good buffing, a good... It's a good size cop too, but there's a good shine in there, which is uh, kind of rare in these. Does it come off? Yeah, it does. And does it have, let's see if it's got the seal. Hold on. Yep, it's got a little rubber seal. A little gasket right there. Let's put that back on. All right, let's see. We got a cap on the front. Yes, there we go. Oh, it's a big cap. Look at the size of the cap on this. It's usually a little smaller than that. And let's see if it's the... Yeah, it's a style that takes the wrench. Oh, it's got two wrenches. Look at this. So I need one right here to take off the big nozzle. Again, I don't want to hit the camera. There we go. Oh, it comes off good. It's machined pretty good for a low price. Oh, look at this, guys. It's got the uh, Iwata uh, Badger style Oops. Uh, nozzle. The single nozzle in the front. Without having to unscrew it. I don't even know what the, the smaller wrench is for, actually. This one. I don't know what the smaller wrench is for. It's like they threw it in by accident. Because that's usually to get the little nozzle off the front. I should have not put that in there. But you know what? Already, um, before performance, I mean, performance means everything. But it, it's kind of worth it already to be in that price point And to have that type of nozzle. The galleries have that type of nozzle. There we go. All right, we'll put the cap back on. I might have to take the cap off when I do some close lines, so we'll try that out. All right, here's what we got to do. We're going to put on a quick release adapter. And we'll go to town. All right. Oh, here we go. I'll get my stand right there. All right, so let's put these wrenches away. All right, we're going to do a quick performance, see how it works, and we'll come back to the bench. We'll wrap this up, and I'll show you my little uh, announcement about uh, a great new product I'll be releasing extremely soon. All right, let's, uh, what are we going to go with first? I think we'll paint first, and then we'll do some primer. We'll see how it pushes out some primer. All right, guys, uh, I'll get these in, uh, mixed up. I'll meet you at the booth. All right, here we are at my Pace Spray Booth. And uh, I'm going to go with the Tamiya X7 Red. Already loaded up the cup. We are ready to go. So let's see how it sprays overall with the traditional spoon. Let's see what we get here. Oh, there we go. We are at 20 PSI. Let's blow this off. Seems to atomize the paint pretty good. 
my traditional uh, way of a bit of a distance, kind of building up my own primer, so to speak. These Tamiya paints and their spray cans spray really good without a primer. They, they really do stick well. So let's go ahead. Now we're going to come in closer and slower. And we're going to overlap each line. See how close I am? One inch. If you're having trouble with uh, the paint really moving around, then just lower the air pressure. That's all you got to do. This paint is really forgiven. But it seems to go on pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's see if we can get in close here. I probably should remove the outer nozzles. Let's do. Oh, it, look! It does remove. Check that out. I thought it was too much when I removed it the first time. All right. Let's see what we got. It's a little sputtery. See it? But I guess I got to thin the paint down some more. Is my guess on something like that? Because once you go in a little bit bigger, it goes in really good. It looks nice and fine. So I probably got to thin the paint more because it's capable of some pretty nice lines here. You know, it's got a nice feel to it. I like the raised cup my finger fits underneath it, but this is how I hold my airbrush. So you can go in with some pretty good lines here. It's good for pre-shading. My hose is getting hooked up over here. Not bad. Not too bad. Let's see how wide we can get a, a pattern here. It's a point .3. It's not going to be a you know point .5 territory. But you know what? That looks all right. That looks all right. Let's try one more thing. Let's try it on another spoon. Let's see if I can cover some black here. Let's see if this will cover black. I'm curious about the paint anyway. Let's see what we get here. All right, now we're going to go in close and slower. You know what, though? It atomizes the paint good because it hasn't moved in the cup. Look. Not too bad. Very good for 25 bucks, I'll say that. You can get some uh, quality kit sprayed with this, I guess, particularly a car body. But uh, yeah, so far not too bad. We'll see how it pushes out some primer, which could be a good thing for it, but it looks like uh, it performs pretty good. All right, and like I said, take the nozzle off. You can come in real close here and get these nice lines. I'm no artist, I just uh, paint models. So. Pretty efficient, pretty efficient. Um, all right, let me clean this out. We'll see how it cleans out in this first shot here. And uh, I'll probably try and clean out the uh, primer on video. We'll see what that does. But let me clean this out for this one. And uh, we'll try the primer, and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, we got the, what am I using here? Moto uh, Black Surfacer. I like this stuff a lot, actually. Um, I turned it up a little bit more, 25, just on the 30, because we're going to be pushing some primer here. All right, let's see how it goes on this wing. Not bad. Pushes it out pretty good. This is a sleeper product. This this is a really good primer. It looks like uh, all clads black primer, which I love, and I'll be testing uh, a stand soon too because I believe it's the same product. So. I really do like uh, All Clad's primers. Another unsung hero in the primer world. Never gets mentioned at all. All right, that's it. All right, we'll let this dry. Look how nice and even went on. Look at that. Now, it dries dull and flat and smooth, so we'll see the results once it's dry. Let me go ahead, move this out of the way. I'll put that in my dehydrator so we can dry it up in five, five ten minutes. But let's go ahead and uh, let's clean this out. I'll use some lacquer and acetone. 
All right, let's see. Here's what we gotta do. You gotta get a rag. Hold on, guys. Paper towel. We are out, blasted out. And uh, if it's a lacquer, which this is, I think I should've got more lacquer in here. I'm gonna put some in here. Just blast some out quick. You can see it's still gonna come out black. Um, I do like to uh, cover the top and swirl it in there a little bit. All right, we will blow this out all the way. It's good to do it in the booth, or you can do it in, uh, oh, that's it. This is my giant uh, airbrush jar, cleaner jar. I keep that on my bench. All right, so we blew some through. All right, I can alternate. This is a little low, so we're gonna go with the acetone at this moment anyway. Now what you wanna do is you wanna cover the front. Get the old blowback with the bubbles, let's see. You can use your finger on this too, because it doesn't point out. There you go. Pushes out a lot of black. Not too bad. Looks like you got a lot out because I can actually see the, the entrance there to the airbrush. Okay, the secret here is when you're blowing back, do not blow it back through again because you got a lot of junk out. You're just going to dump her out right there. All right. I like to wipe the inside, blow the rest through. All right. I'm going to do it one more time. And here we go. Look how clear. Let me back up again. We're looking pretty good. I like to do this also. Hold on. I get these cheap artist brushes. We'll dip it in whatever solvent you have and just to clean up the front. I will do a thorough cleaning at the end of my session, but if I'm going between colors, this is all I really have to do. Just to get the nozzle cleaned off, particularly with an acrylic. And there we go. Now for the ultimate test. All right, let's see how clean this thing ends up getting. Let's look at the nozzle. I always like to check the nozzle. Take my quick release off. Run away uh, handle there. All right, ready? Let's see. This is a good test of how good an airbrush cleans itself is um, um, how the needle looks after I just do my basics. And it looks good. Had some red on it from before, but none of the black which is the primer, go figure. But yeah, that's that's uh, not bad. It cleans out really well. Um, I do on occasion like to blast it out with no needle. That's just me. That's it, the acetone dries very fast, so it's one of the reasons I like to use it as my last flashing off. All right, we are in. Make sure the needle is all the way chucked in. There we go. All right. Very good. Not bad. A pretty good performer for 25 bucks, I got to say. Let's meet back at the bench. We'll look at the results, and uh, we'll wrap this up. All right. Here we are at the bench, and uh, we got the results, and they're good. Um, get the light down here. Really good performing airbrush. I mean, look at that. I mean... If you're painting a car, no problem here, man. This will get it done. I mean, you're not going to get much detail work, but uh, it's not really a detail airbrush. And again, 25 bucks. This was over the black. Look at that. And here is where I tried to get some of the lines. This is about the finest line you're going to get. But again, it's not fuzzy. It's it's really even. It lays on a nice coat here. Um, yeah, it's a it's a good. Uh, you know, beginner intermediate brush. I mean, look at this primer. This is mostly the primer. <laughs> I I love this primer. I did it in a test quick. I just grabbed some, and uh, I have never tested it till that last video that I tried this on. I'm blown away by this. It's just like the uh, all clad primer. Just as good. I mean, look at that. Anyway, it laid down this really nice. Look at that. No details are lost. That is just a beautiful layer of primer. I might put some... Uh, I might use this to test some of the uh, new A-Stand stuff over because it's got to go over a black. Look at that. That is wonderful. So, yeah, it lays down a good layer, good. Um, so, intermediate to a higher in, uh, for details and then uh, good for base coatings. Uh, absolutely not a... Not, I have no problem with it. It's a very good $25 airbrush. Uh, head and shoulders above the cheap ones I've tested from Amazon. The real cheapies and uh, they, they they just feel clunky and all. This doesn't have a clunky feel at all. The trigger actually feels nice. Uh, 
not bad. They took a, a design, you know, put a few upgrades in it. It's pretty good. I don't think it's on the level of the gallery, uh, uh, their advance, but again, that's 40 bucks. This is 25 It's a $15 difference, so it, it is a bit less, not quite half. But, uh, yeah, I can recommend it. It's it it, 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 Like I said, it it laid down the paint really well. I mean, there's no complaints here. So, anyway, one of my lucky viewers will win this baby. Uh, I'll try and get a winner by the weekend. I need a lot of you guys to uh, leave a comment below. Like the video, subscribe, and I will pick a winner. I will just pack this back up. You've seen all the times I used it was these two items. So you're basically getting a brand new one. I will polish her up here with my uh, microfiber cloth. We'll put it back in the box, and uh, we'll get that out to you. So, uh, good luck. And um, one more thing to announce before I, we say goodbye. And I have a new product coming out, um, and it's a, it's a 2K line. We're going to do some 2K clears and satins. I don't want to go crazy here to uh, show you guys, um, but it's going to be a good size bottle. We're going to go 2 ounces instead of 1. It's going to come with the activators. It's going to have the dropper bottles for both. Something I really wanted and requested. And I'll just give you a quick peek at how awesome this 2K is. All right, just a quickie look here. Look at that gloss. This is rock solid. Nothing is going to chip this stuff at all. And the surprising one thing also will be, hold on. I don't want to give too much away, but I will show you something right here. One second, guys. Let me grab it for you. All right, because we're going to save all this for the main video when I release the product, which hopefully should be released this weekend. All right, there is the gloss, and I want to show you the satin, and that is the satin 2K I'm releasing alongside the gloss so you guys can see what it does. It's good to have both in the inventory. I use both all the time, gloss and satin. Look at that. And this is a durable satin, satin just like uh, the 2K is durable. So uh, we're going to be doing both. And I'm going to be adding, I believe we're going to have a black. A 2K black is coming in, which is going to be great for uh, base coats for your chrome and stuff. So we got a little bit of a 2K lineup coming out. We're pretty excited. Stay tuned for that. I should have the product in hopefully tomorrow, and I can get everything set up and do a demo and release the product for Sunday, I hope. Anyway, that is all. Uh, the Ivani airbrush, very good. A thumbs up, 25 bucks. It's worth the 25 bucks. Like I said, a lucky viewer will win this. Leave a comment below. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, guys, you guys have been terrific. Please consider my Patreon where I answer your questions directly, either video or chat. And I'll put a link below for that. It's only four bucks a month. And uh, your patrons have been awesome. You guys are really helping the channel go forward. Helps me buy products like this. This is my own money. Uh, to test on video so uh, yeah we have a lot of surprises coming up I'm uh, designing my own airbrush with the company I don't want to get ahead of that but uh, yeah I have my own airbrush coming out and I'm really excited with how it's coming I'm designing it along with the company and uh, really happy with what I'm seeing so far I think you guys are going to love it anyway thank you so much guys for sticking through the whole video have a great weekend we will see you over the weekend hopefully with my new product if not I will do another video of another test but uh, I'm hoping to have my product out um, for the weekend, at least half of what I have to release. And I um, hope you stick around for that, and I hope you guys like it. Anyway, guys, God bless you all. You guys are absolutely the best viewers out there. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.